A father of three children who were killed by their mother has filed a lawsuit against the city and county of L.A. for allegedly failing to intervene to protect the children. KKL 9's Leslie Marine is live in Reseda with more about his heartbreaking loss. Leslie? Pat, now this was a tragic story. It was at this apartment behind me here in Reseda where almost a year ago, these three little babies all under the age of three were found dead. Now tonight, as you said, that father is filing a wrongful death lawsuit saying he tried dozens of times to protect his children, but it all went unheard. He didn't lose one child. He lost all of his children. A new photo shows Eric Denton with his three children, three-year-old Joanna, two-year-old Terry, and six-month-old Sierra, all killed nearly a year ago after their mother, Liliana Carrillo, admitted to drowning them in this Reseda apartment. How is Eric Denton doing? The fact that he's been able to deal with this uh, has been remarkable, particularly after all the efforts he made to get the intervention of the police department and Child Protective Services. That is attorney David Casey. He's representing Denton in a wrongful death lawsuit against L.A. County and L.A. City, accusing Child Protective Services and LAPD for repeatedly ignoring warnings about the dangers Carrillo posed to the children. There are at least 18 contacts they made which in which the police department and protective services had a mandatory duty to report it and to act, and they did not. They repeatedly said, please protect these children. The suit alleges Denton was granted emergency custody of his children more than a month before their death, citing Korea was experiencing psychotic episodes, hallucinations, and paranoia. But the order was never followed. The suit says Child Protective Services visited Korea and the children at least twice. But it wasn't until days before the tragedy that a social worker documented her alarming behavior. Denton also alleges he begged LAPD officers multiple times to put Carrillo through a psychiatric evaluation. Denton's cousin and ER doctor, Terry Miller, allegedly made reports to LAPD as well. We spoke to her last year. But it didn't have to be like this. If she had gotten the help that she needed, we wouldn't be here. To see the efforts that Eric and Dr. Miller made in reaching out to the police department uh, and to see repeatedly how they were ignored or disregarded, uh, and the intervention uh, uh, would have made all the difference. The Department of Children and Family Services did send us a statement saying in part that they do not comment on pending litigation, but they, quote, extend our deepest condolences to the Denton family. The LAPD did not return our request for a comment. As for Carrillo, she is awaiting trial here in L.A. County. She decided to uh, not to enter a plea for the three murder charges that she is facing. Reporting live, Leslie Money, KCAL 9 News. All right. Thanks so much, Leslie.